Hi, in this video, we're going to discuss ePortfolios with Canvas. ePortfolios is a portfolio tool for our students where they can build an interactive website based off of all of the course submission and their own personal documents and media they'd like to upload. So let's see what it looks like. Here on your teacher page, you actually have access to build your own ePortfolio as well. You click under account and then ePortfolios. And from here, you can create your own ePortfolio for your own professional learning. Let's look at it from the student perspective. So here I am logged in in my daughter's account. I'm going to click under account. I'm going to click under ePortfolios. She's part of the dance program at Colgan High School. So one of the requirements of a specialty program is that you have to complete a portfolio by the time you're finished. Remember, portfolios could be for specialty programs. It could be for like IB programs. It could be for the end of, say, four years of a consecutive course. Or it could be what you do as a replacement of a final exam project. So I'm going to create a portfolio here. I'm going to title it Dance. I'm going to go ahead and make it public. And here is my portfolio. I can actually click go to the actual portfolio. And the portfolio is really just this URL right here. And that's what I can share with other people to let them see my page. And then we can start building our, our portfolio. And think of it as building a very simple website. So I can click Edit. I can have a name here. So I'm just going to call this her name. And then I'm going to hit save. And then I can organize and manage more pages. So I can add another page. And so she has to have a page for each one of her years in dance. And she needs to have one for a senior solo. And so now I'm done. I've built a website that basically a website template that has about six pages that she can go through and she can add more and here she can delete them if she she can rename them or she can move them up and down so let's say i want to edit something to dance one i can click edit this page Oop, let me go back i can click on the page done editing click on the page and i can click edit this page and from here i can type in any text I can add any media that I have, videos or audio. I can link to any websites. I can upload any pictures. But here's where it really gets good. I can also choose to have another rich text content right here. I can choose to click HTML embed. So this will be really powerful to embed anything that's already on, say, social media or anything that's on YouTube or any other, maybe other website or other context that can have that built-in HTML code. I can choose course submission, and this is where I really think we're going to use it. It pulls up every single assignment from every single class the student has been in, and they can select that assignment, and it selects submission, and then it pulls in that assignment. That one didn't have any. Let's find one maybe that had one. Every assignment they've ever done, even something as simple as like a Nearpod, and it submits that assignment. If they have it, it'll say no submission. They can also go up here and they can upload any image or file. So any image or file up to that five gigabyte limit that each student has, they can build that inside of their ePortfolio. And so again, if they change their mind, they decided they didn't want that, they could just go right back into what they had and trash can it and it's gone. Again, this is not the most robust ePortfolio that is available out there. But what this does is it allows every student to build a website that highlights what they've learned inside of Canvas. So that's ePortfolios in Canvas. Thanks for watching.